In this video, we're going to focus on how we can use a custom point style, as you can see here for the line, the tooltip, and the legend. So let's explore how to do this. So the first thing what we need is to have our boiler template. So you can find this on chartyes3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page and of course, join the Discord channel for your questions. So what I'm going to do here is to create first a, or convert this into a line chart. There we are. Let's make those points here, these circular points into a new style. So you're going to say here, use point style. And then what I want to do here is set this on true. We're going to use our custom point style. And then we're going to say here, the point style I would like to use is a triangle. So once I did this, say refresh, you can see we have now triangular shape point style. So the next thing what I want to do is apply that same into our legend here. So we're going to do here in the options, we're going to say plugins. And within the plugins, we're going to say the legend, we'll pinpoint the legend. And within the legend, we're going to say the labels. We want to adjust basically the shapes of the labels. And we say here, use point style set this on true comma point style will be a triangle as well once we did that make sure you have a comma here save there it is refresh and now we have the triangle set here as well as here final one is the tooltip as you can see that needs to be applied as well for the tooltip we're going to say here after the legend comma we go into the tooltip plugin and within the tooltip plugin here, we're going to first indicate use point style. Set this on true. If I do this, save refresh, you will see it starts to apply immediately, but sometimes it will not. If it doesn't apply immediately, there is another option what you can consider, which is the callbacks, or if you want different point styles in general. So we're going to say here callbacks, and then what I will say here, the label point style. So we're going to use here a callback functionality called the label point style. And in here, we're going to say here the CTX or the context. And within here, we can start to return very specifically what we want. In this case, I want to return the point style. And then we can say here, maybe we would like to say here a star shape. If I save this, refresh. As you can see here, now we get the star shape on our tooltip while the legend and the data set itself or the line here has a triangle. Let's put this back into triangle so we are very consistent. There we are, but we could even in this case just even hide all of this because it will automatically understand based on the tooltip and the legend connection here. 